The Green Machine takes thrills to a new level. Awesome slides and 180 degree spins equal endless fun. So let's assemble your Green Machine. First, lay out all the parts to make sure you have everything you need. For tools, you'll need a socket wrench and metric Allen wrench, which are already included in the package. Plus, an adjustable wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. First, attach the front frame to the rear frame. Turn the rear frame so the seat plate faces up. Remove the frame bolt, lock nut, and washer from the rear frame tube. Insert the forward frame tube into the rear frame until the mounting holes align. Push the frame bolt through the cowling and through both frame tubes. Install the washer and lock nut. Use the Allen wrench and adjustable wrench together to securely tighten the bolt and lock nut, and then snap the cow badge firmly into place. Now, let's attach the front steering linkage. Insert the shorter end of the steering rod into the right end of the steering rod handle. Make sure the steering rod is outside the steering handle and that the back of the steering rod points upward. Then, repeat for the left side. Now, attach the rear steering linkage. First, remove the bolt, washer, and lock nut from the rear axle frame and set them aside. Rotate the rear axle frame so the pivot bracket faces upward. With the steering levers fully down and the steering linkage under the seat plate, insert both steering rods into the pivot bracket holes. Rotate the rear axle so the pivot bracket is horizontal or parallel with the floor. Then, adjust the steering levers to the back enough so the rear axle and the pivot bolt holes align. Then push the pivot bolt through the bracket and rear frame pivot end. Install the washer and the lock nut with the blue side facing inward. And use the Allen wrench together with the adjustable wrench to tighten securely. Now install one rear wheel. If the wheel bushings are not installed, insert two bushings into the wheel axle holes, one on each side of the wheel. Make sure the bushings are completely seated. You may have to gently hammer them into place. Repeat for the other rear wheel. Now take a look at the axles. Place a washer and lock nut on one end and insert the rod through the frame. Now, place the wheel graphic side up over the end of the axle. Make sure the bushing doesn't come loose. Install the washer and lock nut onto the axle and securely tighten the lock nut using a combination of the socket wrench and Allen wrench with the adjustable wrench. Then repeat for the other side. Test the wheels by spinning them. They should spin freely and evenly with no wobbling. Install the pedals. Notice there is a right pedal marked with an R and a left pedal marked with an L. It is very important that you install the right pedal and tighten clockwise. Then install the left pedal and tighten counterclockwise. To mount the seat, first remove the washers and screws if they came pre-installed. Then place the seat over the frame holes and adjust the position to fit the rider. Make sure the rider can comfortably use the coaster brake. Insert the washers and screws through the seat and use the Allen wrench to tighten securely. Make sure not to over tighten. The screws on the rear fairing may be pre-installed into the rear axle plate. If so, remove and set them aside. Place the rear fairing over the rear axle plate so the mounting holes align. Install the two screws through both pieces and securely tighten. Again, make sure not to over tighten. Make sure the front tire is properly inflated and it's ready to go.